Right, so, hello everyone. I'm Michelle and this is Michelle's Movie Mayhem and this is my Twilight review. I know it's a bit late because like we're all awaiting New Moon and I have already done a New Moon trailer but despite that I want to have a full set of reviews. And also I watched the movie before I read the books because I didn't really know about the books. So after watching the movie I proceeded to read the book. Chris and Sewer, the thing is when I watched it, first of all, the movie and all of that, I, I found her quite interesting. But then when I read the book, I, I didn't think she was Bella at all. I think she sort of made Bella a bit more afraid and more nervous. I suppose if we split the movie and the book apart, Kristen Stewart makes a Bella who's a bit more, a bit more, a bit more vulnerable really. I don't see her vulnerability in the book. To me, in the book, she's more... She's quite strong-willed. Bella from the book is not Bella in the movie, I think. Overall, the, the camera work. The camera work, I think, worked quite well. So, there is Jacob. Oop, that's Bella. That is Jacob. And I really like Taylor Lautner as Jacob. Jacob is meant to be, like, the, the really cool best friend and like quite just a happy person he is a very happy person and the smile the smile is just awesome look at that that is a gorgeous little smile time for edward cullen okay now it's time to review robert pattinson that's him right i must admit he is quite cute quite hot and he's got he's got let's have a little close-up here i think it's time for a close-up He's got the sculpted face, right? He does look statue-like. Except, is it just me? Or does that not really attract you very much at the moment? Okay, but that, see, that's much cuter. See, when he smiles, it kind of fulfills his face. But the part before that was not very hot. Honestly, it's kind of 50-50 with Robert Pattinson. Edward? has wings look at that that is a beauty shot right there there is in fact an owl there and edward appears to have wings and i thought that was a very nice touch because he's like the ultimate evil with angel wings isn't that lovely personal question to you guys why are they in the greenhouse and I like the cat joke. The cat joke is good. That is priceless. That's, that's just priceless. That's for all the people who don't think vampires sparkle. Now this deserves a bit of criticism really. Because this to me is not a meadow. I expected a meadow. But it's not a meadow. No, it's not a meadow. Look at it. It's barely a field. It's barely a front lawn, to be honest. I really did expect a meadow. Not a thing that's barely a lawn, not a field at all. But no, I expect... Meadow. That's just a random part in the middle of the trees that hasn't got a tree. Next part I had to put on here. It just just bothers the hell out of me. You know what this wife does me? So is Carlisle the real reason that you don't kill people? She said, is Carlisle the real reason? No, he's not the only reason. No, he's not the only reason. She didn't say only, just look at it as a whole. So is Carlisle the real reason that you don't kill people? No, he's not the only reason. Seriously, does that not bother anyone but me? It just, it just annoys me, I'm sorry. That is one of the most annoying parts, I just skip that usually. Time for the priceless faces of Edward Cullen. I know. It's okay. 
All right, uh, I'm gonna take you on a tour of the rest of the house. Okay. Nowhere in the book does he climb trees. This is not Spider-Man, people. That's just not right. That is not... That is not vampire-like. Well. Unmissable, Stephanie Meyer. Did you see the R matches up? Baseball was awesome. The face, look at that. One of the biggest problems, which I just find just really weird, is that the fact that they don't say I love you in the movie at all, anywhere. I just think that there should be an I love you. I mean, nowhere in this film do they openly declare love to each other. I mean, they do say that the, the only time they say love is when Edward Cullen says and so the lion fell in love with the lamb. But still, they don't actually say I love you. And I really thought they should have. And this is the place where I found that I thought I love you would have been perfect. So, yeah. Yeah. I love you. I love you, Edward. Perfect, don't you think? I mean, obviously, my voice acting as both of them was not perfect. But still, that would have been a perfect place to say, I love you. The fight scene, I felt, was one of the best uh, parts of the movie. I think Cam writes... There, yeah, I think Cam uh, did a really good job for James. I think he just portrayed that evilness. But he's still vampire, so you're kind of attracted to him in that sort of sense. One of the scenes which I really don't like is the hospital scene, where um, when Bella has woken up from unconsciousness, and I feel that when Edward comes to talk to her and say like he's leaving, I just think she's shouting at him and sort of just really exploding all over the place but I, I thought that she should be more pleading and sort of begging and just opening her heart out and just on the verge of tears because of it I don't think it was exactly the right I don't think the, the right emotion was conveyed Converse at prom it said stiletto in the book Converse look at that Converse people is it me or is that Victoria in the hall of the prom when Edward or Bella, Edward and Bella are in it? How, how could they put, how could they put Victoria right there at prom in the beginning? Wouldn't Edward have noticed her, you know, sensed her or something? I'm thoroughly puzzled. So, to finish with this lovely scene going on behind me, um, Twilight as a movie, by, by itself just as a movie, is just really good. But I think Kristen Stewart especially, but Anne Rob, pa Robert Pattinson, give it a different feel from the book. Because in the book it's wholeheartedly love, romance, all over the place. Really just love as the plotline like that, but in here, in, the, in Twilight it's just a lot more action involved but I think it's so that just to keep the audience more involved in it so that they don't get bored so basically the adaption is good and apart from a few mistakes and things that I thought weren't that well thought out it's a good movie to watch for all the Twilight fans who um, all the Twilight Saga fans so yeah so so that was my Twilight review. Uh, look out for my upcoming videos. Subscribe, rate and comment. See you guys.